Hello guys, it is me, that random dude, once again with another tutorial video and today I will be showing you how to add tiles into Mega Man Maker version 1.8. So in past Mega Man Maker updates, 1.6, 1.7, you could add tiles easily with the decompiled code. However, in 1.8, it is not so easy, but not impossible. So I'll be showing you how to add said tiles into 1.8. So what you'll need is Undertale Mod Tool, Bleeding Edge, which I'll put in the link in the description. You want to get the, I believe the, is release true? It's more like, I think, yeah, just get one of the single file versions, I think. So, yeah, once you've downloaded that and extracted it, um, you want to open up the your Mega Man Maker data win, like so, Mega Man Maker right here. And you want to import your tiles, so, I don't know where you'd find the tiles, I mean, I just import mine from different mods. But once you have, you know, your said tile, you want to go to it, uh, scripts, resource repackers, and import graphics right here. So, once you do that, it'll be like, uh, this script, blah blah blah. I've already imported my scripts, but if you click yes, my tiles, um, it, you can basically just import them from a set folder so you can have like a folder saying tiles and it'll just import them for you but I've already got my tiles so I don't need to do that so um, I'll be showing you the tile that I will be adding I'll be adding this Minecraft tile right here from Mega Man Maker Plus 2 um, so you want to go to the page item texture right here and sometimes you do need to set to uh, target position 0 0 I'll be taking a risk and not be doing that, but sometimes you need to. You have to experiment sometimes. When I was importing X mod tiles, I did not need to do this, but for certain tiles you need to. But once you have your tiles, make sure you keep an eye keep an eye on the ID here. So mine is 10659. So once you've got so once you've imported your tiles and you've gotten and you've kept note of the ID for my 10659, you want to go over to category tiles. And from here, for example, I'll show you that it can't be edited with the decompiled code. So if I like just edit something here, um, it will just give me this error. So we have to use this dis disassembly, which is a lot more com complicated, but actually it's not that hard and I'll show you that. So you want to scroll all the way down to around here where it says uh, colon bracket whatever whatever it is 14 and push the I one one three so yeah, just copy copy as how I do it so uh, I've t I took this off of the cutman tile originally uh, so making sure I do this right okay so I've copied that I've copied that line of that big wall of code and I'm gonna go so the last number here was 1412 so I'm gonna go 1413 yeah so 1413 1413 1413 and here you can change the number so one, my one was 10659 10659 that's the ID. That's why I told you to keep um, notes of that. And once you've added that, now you are done. However, to add, to change the name of the tile, I am not sure how to do this. I know it is possible. I've tried just editing the text right here, but I have no idea how to do it. So, yeah, but it is possible. I'm not sure how to do it. So after you've added your tile here with all the correct information, you want to go scroll all the way down and find the category listing. So where it'll be. So if you want like, it may be in the Mega Man 7 folder or the Mega Man Game Boy folder. For me, I'll be putting mine in the Mega Man Game Boy folder. So I'm gonna find that. It'll be in category 12, so right here. And you wanna look, you wanna find RGC. So in my case, it's 238, it'll be different for you. But for me, I will be changing this number to 239. Since I'll only be adding one tile, if you need to add two, it would be like 240. You get the idea. So right there, 239. And I'll go all the way up. 
and I'll find my tile right here. So you want to copy this line of code, just this push.l1412, and I'll be adding 1413. And you can just, um, and it will compile. So it does take a while to compile and disassembly because this is a large block of code. However, um, shouldn't take too long, but it is, it's taking a while, so let's go wait for it. Du -du 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 -du. Should be done any moment now, hopefully. Yeah, sorry that this takes a really long time. It's just it's how it is with decompiled with with assembly code. It takes a very long time, but we are done. And as you can see, it compiled perfectly without any issues whatsoever. And you can see in the compiled code, there it is, right there. So I've successfully imported my Minecraft tile set. How amazing! So after you're done. You can just go ahead and save. I will be saving this off of camera, so um, and I'll be opening up Mega Man Maker to show you guys. So I'll see you guys right there. Okay, so I am on my Mega Man Maker all for one. I am one of the developers, and I'm going to go into a new level and show you that uh, these tiles work. So go to a category tile here. I'm going to go to the Game Boy section because that's why I saved my tile and should be here. So. The tile icon, you can basically edit it in uh, SPR category tile icons and you can just drag and drop your um, icon there. You can make another row, you can, make an, you can add another column there and you can just add, drag and drop your texture icon. But here I have two, I have uh, one that I added previously, so it's just this generic tile. And I have the Minecraft one that I have just added and showed you guys so yeah I'm going to use Mega Man here and as you can see it does work so yeah and also the reason why these tiles are the reason why category tiles doesn't work is because of Pirate Man so let me show you that Pirate Man isn't broken at all when you use this method so yeah, here we go. And as you can see, Pirate Man works just fine. So, yeah, you know, when, when, you, add, when, you, when you edit category tiles in disassembly, nothing gets broken. You could just remove the water code but that Pirate Man uses in the category tiles. However, Pirate Man will be broken. I've learned this myself, but yeah. So that's basically how you add tiles into Mega Man Maker version 1.8. So if you guys found this helpful, leave a like, subscribe, definitely help me out. If you have any questions, any further questions, go ahead, comment them to me. And I will be, I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial video. So, see ya.